Google Web Toolkit Install on Ubuntu by Brandon Donaldson. First, go to clips.org and download the related binary. Click on Download. Next, we need to extract the zip file. Go to the Downloads folder. Right click, Extract here. Next, I move it into a folder that won't get erased. My favorite is the folder called BIN. And I put it in. Move it to the folder. Next, I like to create a shortcut to the executable in the top bar. Add custom application launcher. I find executable. I name it. There we go, we have a shortcut in the top bar for Eclipse. As we load it, I choose the default workspace. I close the welcome window. Next, we need to install the Google Web Toolkit plugin. Install new software. Go to the Google Web Toolkit plugin, download link, download plugin and SDKs. I choose the update site, copy it, go back to the repository, add it to the repository list. I name it so I can reference it later. I choose the features, install them, accept. And I usually run this in the background. It'll security warning. I say OK. Next thing it'll ask is to restart to bring the new features into effect. OK. Clips will load up to the new features and the top bar. There's the Google Web Toolkit plugin. Thanks for watching, and you can find more on gwtexamples.googlecode.com or check out my YouTube channel.